So this is what a sleep deprived mom of two three year olds looks like. I'm gonna do a garden tour later as soon as I get the toddlers fit. garden. I just took two hours longer to get outside than I planned. Toddlers. Hey, shaking out. All right, front garden. Brand new thing. Oh. Well, that is just one very sad cauliflower and one very happy cauliflower. Uh, all these are new blueberries from the store and then some brassicas that got moved over to fill out the rest of the box so that the blueberries don't fall over. Um, tomatoes, chrysanthemums, green beans that need to get harvested. So I'm just going to harvest as we go today and then water everything in because that seems like an efficient and effective use of time. <laughs> some green beans. Nothing too special. First blushes on these tomatoes. Which is awesome. And there's some beets down here, which we're still getting. And my little beans are finally growing up and out of nowhere. So we may actually get noodle beans before it's over. Uh, pumpkin plant. Brussels sprouts, let's call some tomatoes uh, that we just stuck in the ground. They're not doing very well right now, but they may uh, get it together. And then we will have tomatoes and then just some weeds because there's the weeds everywhere. It's fine. The hoogle bed is doing beautiful and amazing. The nodig bed is starting to die back. So. I think long run, the hoogle bed is actually the winner. Uh, these are pot marigold. Big old tractor. Um, also known as calendula. So I'm just picking these off and harvesting. Ooh. So many harvests. These ones went a little long, so maybe I'll save those for seed. We're just doing an accidental harvest video. It's fine. Garden tours, harvest video. Same thing, right? It's fine. Chrysanthemums. Uh, All of these uh, flower petals get dried for tea. Dropped one on the ground. <laughs> and then the more you harvest, the more flowers they make. So it's actually a good thing to do if you want to have bigger yields of your flowers. Well, that's like a whole thing. Yellow squash. Giant, giant yellow squash. Oh. Well, this is just silly now. I need to move my baskets with us. Because otherwise this is going to take 12 years. And also, I'm not entirely certain I haven't given you all a motion sickness headache. These ones are super pretty. Um, I just bought a calendula mix, and so 
they're all these different sizes, shapes, and colors. Then Mr. Shim's tomatoes. And definitely have a cucumber that needs to come off and with us. These guys are really good when they're smaller. Hello, Mr. B. I'm sorry. I am in your way. Uh, this guy did not get pollinated, so that is garbage. But his friend over here definitely did. <sighs> Trying not to be annoyed by my nemeses. Hello, good morning. Good. My neighbor just showed up and we had like a whole long conversation. So back to harvesting and making it weird and getting all of the calendula. Uh, these are kohlrabi that have seen better days. Uh, first time growing them, don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. We can all fail. Failure is good sometimes. It helps. Um, these are beans that I'm growing in a planter, uh, which is just an old ice cream container that I found abandoned when we went fishing. We did not catch any fish, but I can't. I caught that tub, so now I'm just growing food in it because I'm a weirdo. That's a weed. That's a weed. This is the scarlet kale that I planted earlier, and now it's just super pretty and purple. Uh, my pumpkin plant, and then we got some broad beans hiding in here. So, and then I planted some peas in here last night, which apparently some of them decided that they didn't want to be in the ground. So we'll fix that. Uh, yeah. Pumpkins, which this guy I think is ready. So I'll just snap him off. Well, that was not the goal. Uh, you want to keep as much of the stem on as possible because that is how they rot. So the longer the stem, the longer you have to eat them. But I messed up, so it's okay. Things happen. There are worse things to happen. I thought I saw another bean, but hmm, it's okay. They're just hunting for food all the time. I saw another bean. Okay. Oh, hello squash. So I've been letting these get big because we like to bake them in the oven. But now I think I've uh, made some very uh, tactical errors. Oh, hello slug. Slugs. Awesome. <sighs> Spray them off with a hose, it's okay. But yeah. Oh, this one plant is losing its mind and it's covered in slugs. But that's fine, it's fine. Let's not freak out about the slugs. If you don't like slugs, you may want to look away because there's a lot of slugs. Those ones on the inside we can do harder. So this had four today. This is why people say if you have a friend with a squash plant, it will annoy you and you will just have too much squash. Um, this pumpkin took down this tomato plant, but they're just in like this weird wrestle like match and I'm okay with that because it's funny. Uh, yeah, raspberries. I've been eating raspberries all summer. Okay, I'm going to handle these slugs and then put the squash in the basket with its friends. Um, I don't think you need to see that. This medium murder. Let's make that five off of that one plant. So yeah, just yellow squash. So, so this is my four-year-old shard that is uh, just gone to seed, and I will eventually harvest the seed. Uh, tomatoes, which that one's almost. Already, those are my feet. Sorry, 
um, I think that's a cauliflower and a, or a broccoli and some beets. It's a very old cabbage. I feel like now I'm just using it as a trap crop. Sorry for the construction noise. Uh, my strawberry patch, my other strawberry patch plopped in a brassica and some peas in there. There's one hidden in here. Just putting things where we can fit them in. Uh, Clementine, which I think had some flower buds the other day. Nasturtiums, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts with my nemesis. More potatoes, just constantly replanting potatoes. Uh, the container garden experiment with the pumpkins and peas and <laughs> the red Russian kale. That's getting a little hot in there. It's okay. And the salsa pie and spread over there. It's doing about the same. It's not terrible. Um, some smoltamon, uh, cabbages, salad greens, and some beans. Some more beans. This is my now perennialized kale, which I let it go to seed. And then we drop the seeds in this box so that this is just the kale box. And we planted a nasturtium in here and we planted uh, carrots this year and lemon balm. It's just been there for a couple years now. Which helped deter some of the pests. Um, so yeah, so this is my funny weird thing. And these kale trees are uh, three years old. There's also some wood sorrel that's invaded in here and some, this weird plant that looks like wood sorrel-ish, but it is not. So I always pull that guy. Um, I don't know if he's edible or not, but because I don't know what he is, I get him out of here. But the wood sorrel is very, very tasty. Yeah, this is the guy who's a liar and then this is wood sorrel. So always looks these little heart-shaped leaves and they are citrusy and delicious and make a very good field lemonade or a snack and they are packed full of vitamin c and awesome um i took the top collar off of this yesterday to corral the blueberries so this looks weird <laughs> right now um but these are all my old carrots that i'm gonna collect the seeds when they're ready and yeah, there's a bunch of wood sorrel in here. Um, I think some lilacs from the neighbors growing over. Yeah, but these are getting very close and ready to harvest. So I'm just waiting for them to get a little bit more dried out. And then we shall have carrot seed forever. And then when that's done, I'm going to clean this whole box out. <sighs> I was going to fill up the soil again. And that's just a crazy weed that is very prickly and weird. Um, yeah. This is chaos, and if you didn't know, lilacs like to spread underground like that. Lilacs like to spread underground like that. So this is just invasive lilac chaos and some wood sorrel. But yeah, this is all wood sorrel and then my old carrots. So this carrot was planted, oh, I want to say a year and a half ago? These are spring 2019 carrots that I just left in here, and they're super tasty. If they haven't bolted, they're like the most carrot flavor you've ever had a carrot flavor. So, um, yeah, let's drop these guys off with their friends. Oh. And just for comparison, right, these are the carrots that I planted earlier this year so <laughs> these are the March or April April planting I think of my carrots so just uh, I don't know if it's because I don't thin them or if it's the quality of my soil or our climate or where I'm growing them but that is what happens so I tend to uh, let my carrots grow for a ridiculously long time because <laughs> yeah that's just it's delicious, but it's not good eating. Like, it's just not food in any kind of, like, meaningful way that you would describe food. So, yeah. Yeah, and then just the wood sorrel and the weird weed. That is not wood sorrel in here. And the wood sorrel gets these really pretty yellow flowers. So, 
they're really cute but that is how they spread hello fly you am trying to make my life weird oh i'm just weeding as we go because it is that kind of day yeah. and i'm gonna water these all in um oh and two brussels sprouts so we do have tiny brussels coming on now we're into the greenhouse. Uh, we have <laughs> this dinosaur kale that is just being annihilated by caterpillars, which is fine. I just, I keep trying to leave little trap crops so they go to places, but they don't work because I have too many brassicas. It's fine. It's fine. I believe I grow too much food so that we have enough to eat. And that I don't feel bad about it. But, you know. Sometimes there's nothing you can do, and sometimes weird stuff happens, and sometimes your dogs break in and eat a Brussels sprout, because that's a thing that the dogs did. They came and ate a Brussels sprout. Uh, this is cauliflower that I keep just hand-picking off caterpillars as I find them. Um, I think they're done. Uh, plum tomato, kale, kale, more beans, more beans. Some beets hidden in there, beet hidden in there, uh, kale that was decimated by a caterpillar that I missed. This guy is not looking great. I think it's too hot for him up here, but that's where he's planted. So eventually I will pull him out, but he's still giving me beans. So when he stops giving me beans, I'll probably pull him and replace him with something that's a little bit more heat tolerant. Right, because the beans down here are doing much better. I think it's just too hot at the top of the greenhouse. Uh, pepper plant. Pepper plant. We have bell peppers. Pepper plant. Uh, this is melon. This is probably a cauliflower. Ginger. Pepper, ginger. Tomatoes. I'm getting close. Uh, there's more of the scarlet kale in here. There's some shard. That volunteered down in there. Tomatoes, basil. Um, this is a pumpkin that I don't know where it came from, but we have it. Uh, this is a broccoli that is very mad at me. Nasturtium. I had cucumbers in here. I took them out. Uh, that's a chili pepper up top. I'm trying to keep him separated from my bell peppers just so that we don't have cross pollination as much as possible. More tomatoes. More tomatoes. Uh, beet that is growing for seed for yellow beets back there. Um, things that have died. <laughs> Tomatoes, uh, a blackberry cutting that I'm trying to root. These are uh, kabucha pumpkins, which are the same that I planted out there. Um, these are doing good because they're in the greenhouse. So they're growing uh, heavy and fast and awesome. I will probably transplant them out eventually. Basil, uh, mint, another tomato uh sucker that i'm rooting pepper that i'm rooting basil pepper that i'm trying to root uh the two thinned squash plants from outside that i just popped into dirt and they have recovered and so i'll probably transplant those out later uh, when i find a good home for them um I want them to get like two more sets of leaves and then I'll put them out into the dirt. Uh, these are early sprouting purple broccoli that got decimated by caterpillars. Uh, these are my kale restarts, dinosaur kale. And then uh, this is some pak choy. And these are beets for later. Um, the noodle beans, more tomatoes, basil, uh, melon, tomato with basil. Another melon, lufa, okra, artichoke, chaos, uh, ong choy, and the ginger. And we might, I don't know that we will, but we might get watermelon if this sets a female blossom. Uh, it's just growing in some chaos. So this is the cabbage that refuses to die. Totally cool with that. Uh, two butternut squash. There's a nasturtium that's trailing through here, making it weird. Small tron in the back. And then I'm just trying to train these guys to go up to the... Oh, we have a sick chicken coop. And then up onto the actual coop. This is my plan. And um, 
yeah, we're starting to get flowers. So we might get some butternut squash off of this weird experimental plant. Hello, white cabbage moths, bane of my existence. <sighs> Black blueberries and dog poop. Yay! I need to clean up after the dogs. Blueberries, black currants, blueberries, apple tree, the back garden, the arbor that still has nothing on it. There are beans on the inside of both of these. Um, some onions, some tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, more beans, yellow squash. It's, oh god. Nasturtiums, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, and a yellow squash. Some cabbages and spinach and nasturtium. The spinach I forgot to harvest, but it's still doing okay. As long as it's in the shade and it's getting enough water. Uh, this is the box that I replanted last night, which desperately needs to be watered so that those seeds get going. It's fine. This is the pile of salad and garbage that needs to get fed to the chickens just don't want to overwhelm them and then this is the other box which is doing a little bit better just as it's got it gets more shade from the street apple tree um brussels sprouts brussels sprouts being of my existence flirting with my brussels sprouts uh broccoli that is bolting because that's good i'm pretty sure there's a bee that is trying to get the flower in my hair so that's fun. Uh, these Brussels sprouts are doing much better than the ones in the front. Um, and then these are the baby cabbages, which this one has a caterpillar in it. That is caterpillar poop. I know what I'm doing now. Hunting for caterpillars. Hunting for caterpillars eating my baby cabbage. Oh, sorry. Just hunting. And if you, there's no way that this little guy is responsible for all of that. That poop is bigger than he is. Okay, well, those are more. <sighs> Bird army, come get this. That's just a ridiculous amount of caterpillar poop. <sighs> Guys, come on. It's good fertilizer. But, ugh. There is a teeny tiny guy. There's no way that little guy is responsible for that much damage. <sighs> okay. So I'm just gonna pull this back and search. Maybe my bird army got him. I'm gonna hope my bird army got him. But I'm gonna keep an eye on that. But this is setting a little teeny tiny cabbage head. And then there's another one here, which also is full of caterpillar poop. <sighs> My bird army needs to get on this, slash, I'm gonna need to do a black hunt, or black white hunt, another cabbage. So there were three tiny cabbages growing off of this main one that we harvested the main stock. <sighs> but yeah, so if you leave your stem in, they'll make more cabbages. Butternut squash, which I need to start training that way, which it's not gonna like, but that's okay. This is just a sad cauliflower. I will never get it together because it keeps dying. It's fine. Ugh. And I might have a vine borer in there. I don't know that I do. I think it's just broken and mad. So I'm gonna leave it. Sunchokes that are just now starting to flower, which is awesome. Oh, mystery potatoes. My pears that are not happy. <sighs> the rest of the garden, which is bananas. You know, a little pine tree. Like a normal person. Those are onions. Eventually I'll plant something in the middle of them. Uh, this is my tea berries that are done for the year, clearly. And my blackberries that just came in. So these guys just started getting harvested this week. Oh. And they're actually really good. I kept pulling them too soon. So just wait till they want to fall off on their own. And then they are perfect. 
like that. It just gives to your touch. That's what you want to feel. And then that's just a snail that I'm going to relocate. That's a nice way of relocating a snail, right? Okay, that's going to go inside the ends. Oh, okay. Potatoes. Some cucumbers, some tomatoes, garlic, more potatoes. Oh, yeah. That's the garden. Thanks for watching. Now I'm going to water it all so it doesn't die. Because we actually have summer finally in Sweden. It just took till August. Well, that's the harvest. Bunch of squash, cucumber, some beans, and calendula, and broad beans. Yay! Well, I'm locked out of the house. That feels correct.